Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim! My name is Maya, in case this is your first time being here. Not that you have to watch any of the other parts to this, um, to really understand what's happening in Skyrim. You can literally start anywhere in the Skyrim and be, like, understand what's going on. <laughs> but that being said, we are going to hop in, which my, con my controller is not on. Oh my god, start! <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, my controller, it won't turn on! I'm so excited. I got so much recording done today. I feel pretty impressed with myself. I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? What are we doing? We are still on the beach. Do -do 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 -do. Arts College. Erica's house. Oh, yeah, and, uh... Arts College, Erica's house, and then the Blue Palace. Blue Palace. Not the Reach. What is this one called? Athinger? Athengar. Yeah, we need to go talk to Elisif. Yeah, there are a lot of quests we need to do. All of these. Fuck yeah. I mean, honestly, we'll, like, do this one as it comes across. As we find them, you know? Um... Upper Markarth. No, not that one. Definitely not that one. College Winterhold and Aventus Arantino. Yeah, no. Definitely not those. Okay. So, we need to go... I've instantly forgotten everything we've done. Oh yeah, we power leveled last time. Now we just need to power level destruction. Be the fastest one to level back up. Would illusion take that long? I don't know which spell did we even use to power level illusion? Buffle. I would say we use clear points. I didn't do anything. Okay. Use muffle. Legendary that. You will not let me legendary that. Why won't you? Do I need to be sleeping to legendary it? Bullshit. Because we could have just been doing this right now. Right now. No! No, 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 no. We ain't wasting that. No, sorry. No, we're not. Well, let me legendary it now. Now, fuck. So. Whatever. We'll figure it out later. For now, we need to. How do I have that? Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> okay. We need to go... I've already talked to you. You're fine. How do I get in? How do I get in? No! I did it again. Fuck it. Whatever. 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 Whatever! There, should talk to the headmaster of the place, I guess. Talking to me. Welcome to the bar, 
Arts College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? I'm looking to apply to the college. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. And what do you need me to do? Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, part of the poetic edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in, I see. Yes, according to Giro, our history's key. Giro? Sure, why not? Has the war affected your college much? Uh, not much. But as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in a yeah, that's pretty true. What do you know about the dragons? Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Sherrod Germain has some tomes about them in the library if you're interested. So what is the Poetic Edda? I think Sherrod here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Orlov's verse. You should speak to him about it. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. No, sure, why not? I wish you luck in finding the verse. So, Biarmo said you could tell me about the poetic Edda. Interesting. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay. Uh, hold on. We're just gonna check to see what quests we can do for the Bard's College real quick. Still need to talk to, talk to Elisa. Bard's College. Bard's College. Where are you at? Uh, go talk. Inge, Pantea, and Gerard. Oh, well, we just talked to Gerard, and I don't know if he's got more to say to us. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's birth. Before. Performance is about a week away. I expect to hear your early rendition tomorrow, understand? Oh, thank you. I'm working on an original piece. I hope it can stand up to the classics. Um, now, back to your practice. What the hell are you guys talking at? Upstairs? Hildy, Aya, Atta? There once was a hero named Ragnar. Welcome to the Bard's College. It's like... Remember, 
It's your job to Okay. Looks like I might have to actually join the Bard's College first before I can do any quests for them. So, for now, we're moving on. And don't I just look dapper, guys? The Jarl is not to be disturbed in common affairs at court. You direct those concerns to me. Well, considering I came here to talk to you, at least. Uh, do you like my outfit? Craftsmanship is excellent. It was made by Radiant Raymond. Oh really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Nice. You dress General Tullius. That's valid. Pretty valid. Okay. Um, you the high queen of Skyrim? Go bad. It's so good to see you again. How do I get her side quest? Hold on. How do I get? This? Okay, I have to finish the man who cried wolf first. Okay, first though, we're gonna change our armor back. The Pelagia swing. This isn't scary at all. Does Janasa go with me? Besides, I have so many things to do. My hair, so undesirable naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile. <laughs> We're all old. You are the best. Cheese! 
Yeah, he's a die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! <laughs> You blind. I'm here to deliver a message. You kind of do. I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. you're not the first one I've dealt with. All I know uh, is that your people need to return. you leave or not now that's the real question isn't it because honestly how much time off could a demented daedra really need so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to leave that's right i'm done holiday complete i return from on one condition oh no I'm what's the condition Okay, what's the catch? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. It makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not a place. A sleepy little nest of guards. But it's where you belong. Where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively herded mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use... The Wubba Jack! The huh? Wubba Jack. Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> Alright, I guess let's use the Wubba Jack. doing the fish stick it's a very delicate state of mind what do we want to start with eeny meeny miny mo i choose this one oh good choice well good for me i find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining <laughs> you might find it less so you see Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, 
She was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that. Yeah, let's go. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. The objective here is simple, you simple thing. Use your wabaja. I'm using the Wabajack. They do the same. Come on, can I hit those guys? Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe. Which means you helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Okay, was that was that it? I think that was it. Well, let's get a move on, everyone. So where exactly is? I know he said we're in the mind of a dead man, but like, where exactly is that? Like, is this somewhere on the Shivering Isles? have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Okay. So, what am I doing? Hit him with the Wabajack? My finger. My nail. And you waddled away, water, water, water. Like, what am I doing here? La, da, 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 da. Yeah, take that, you fucking goat. And I hit the butterflies. Hi, Graven. Hot woman. Get him already. Shoot him. Dragon Priest is even dragon. Now that's something to grow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. You give me a chest here and I can't even do anything with it, but I can get more tapanilla. Worthless. More fucking worthless. Oh, what if I shoot him again? Nothing? Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. That was disappointing. Last path. one. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. You are a big man. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his branch. Where did he go? The self-loathing enhances Pelagius's anger. Ah. But his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Eh, fuck him up.
Yo, what is there. that? Done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Yeah, you got this, man. What even is happening here? I hate this fucking outfit. I've got no hair. Where's my hair? I'm bald. I've done it. Who are you talking to? Down to bear. Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? <laughs> As for you. Okay, send me home now so I can get out of this ugly ass outfit. Uh uh. I most certainly do not want this. What are my active effects? Over encumbered. I'm pretty sure I'm on. Yeah, I'm on survival. Okay. I was just like. Had to double check real quick. What the heck? What the heck? Why are we so overweight? I don't think these are unique. Anasa, trade some things with me. It is, in fact, what I wish. Thank you for asking. Uh, you can take the Wabajack. And you can't take anything else, can you? Why am I so overweight?
There we go. That makes more sense. Oh yeah, was there anything anything else actually up here? Or is that it? Like I think this might have been it, but I just want to double check real quick. Alright, that actually seems like it was it, so let's get out of here. Erica's house, and then I think we can finally leave Solitude. Oh, go talk to Tyree. And then, yeah, we just start wandering around and completing quests. Okay, but first of all, Erica's house. Seville's Centaur is not a human. Where are we going with this thing? Place the forge deed on the dresser. Right here? Construction on the 40s of Rihanna has been approved. Whatever. Check the barrel for further instruction. We're running away. Okay. And yeah, let's just go talk to Tyree and then we can get out of solitude. We should probably sleep before we leave, too. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, how do we... Hold on. Random potion of healing on the ground. Wait, how do we get there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm telling you, you hurt me. Obtain the ancestral sword. You are good. You picked her pocket scene and made the switch. Now you will need to put these skills to the test and more in Silver Drift Lair to the tomb that houses an ancient Nord clan near a large chest of the corpse with a lantern. The candle's still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find a sword that can raise the dead. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the grave box in Ripton. It's a small and marked headstone on the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task, and maybe you'll even get to meet him. Tales are true. Our wolf tales are true. For a veteran, it's not much to ask. I'm a bit on a mission right now, and you are impeding. Totally, totally. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. The Wabba Jack! Now to go do a whole bunch of other things. Good 
So put out the fire at Solitude Lighthouse and we'll just work our way back around through all these. Through these real quick before circling back to Solitude. So we'll work our way around from here, go around, down to here, head back to Solitude. All good. All right. Well then, that being said, I will see you guys in here in just a minute. Okay, everyone, here we are at the Solitude Lighthouse. Need to wait for Janasa. There she is. Okay. Now we just need to go put the lighthouse out. Turn to Jari Ra. Jari Ra. Was not that hard, I guess. From here, so he's down by there. Just need to go to Broken Orc Grotto. Little boat. Yeah. That was not worth it. Can I do anything with this? We just need to get over to Broken Ore Grotto. We'll see you guys there in just a minute, actually. Alright, everyone, we made it. Gotta warm up first. Like, okay, I can't tell if this is helping or not. Honestly, let's just get inside. It'll probably we'll probably heat it faster being inside. Perfect. I look like I'm trying to hide. Dead can be. There is an unnatural chill in the air. Or is that work in this place? Uh, yeah, it's cold as fuck in here. Okay. 
bring out the sword. A lot of random ass food. Come on. Come on, don't you want to fight? They fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you. This chest. Gold. My glass helmet. Get out of the boat! Okay. And that means we don't have to go all the way around either. Anything in here? You just stand still. Oh. Hold on. You just swing the fucking weapon. Overrated. Fuck yeah, Janasa. Fuck him up. Okay. Moving along, moving along. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive, staying alive. Anything up here? Not really. It wasn't worth it for 38 gold. Sight. What is? Oh, that is. That's pretty cool looking, I guess. You want to fight, boy? Guess not. You're down before we could finish. Over here. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? That's ridiculous. Oh, that was bullshit. Whatever, I guess let's do it again. Do it again, I guess. Fuck you. Like stuck here. No. Oh, no, like this. All right. Get along again. Never should have come here. Fuck him up, my girl. Okay. 
Last one. Uh, let's think for eight hours. We awaken feeling refreshed. Food. Now well fed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Moving on again. They've established their date gold is not worth it to go up there. Damn, that's quite a sight. I didn't actually want to grab that. Thanks for asking. Serious. I fucking miss. Also, if you don't get out of the fucking way. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Using the Ebony Blade, the legendary blade that's gonna steal all your health for me. Hey, what was that? You're dead. I'll see you, bud. Fucking serious. Fuck. Serious? Ready to die today? Obviously, the answer is no. And has no place here. Yeah. 
Because this is something we need to do in the middle of battle, right? Am I having these problems? Fuck! Ereva, guide me! Come on, Jurassic, let's fuck him up. has no place here. Leave here alive. Come on, guide me. Got the Shinasa. Over this way. And then bring that back out. Quick save, real quick. She's not so dead. There she is, okay. I'm fucking incompetent. That's just him. Okay, 
Let's go, Janasa. We can take him. Oh, shut up. All right. Pelotar the bandit is dead. So this one's dead. Going up to the tip to tip top. Assuming his chest would be up here somewhere. What the fuck? Where is his chest? I don't want stupid dagger. Okay. He say in his stupid thing where the chest is. Darby Raw is up to something big. He wouldn't tell me exactly. All he said it was, it'll be just like the good old days before the cave-in sealed your boats in there. We can't send our ships out of here anymore. What is the what is he hinting at? He wants to know what loot we have saved up. I don't care what he says. I'm not telling him anything about my stash. He stays down there where it's safe. I can't imagine you ever jump in this murky walkie, let alone swim down to the sunken boat. Von Jari Raw's and his sister, she should have something cooked up. All they need is a scapegoat. I wonder where they'll find someone dumb enough to do what they say. Find me someone out there who will. It's me. I'm the one that's dumb enough. Oh, uh, maybe the key was for that stupid master chest that was underwater right here. Well, I already opened it. It's fine. All right. Well, I guess the only thing to do is get out of here. Skedaddle, I guess. Hey, watch it. Watch it. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, actually, you guys don't need to watch me get out of here. Ah, uh, we didn't... It's already an hour in. I don't feel like we got a lot done. Uh... Yeah, no. We can go figure out we'll stay. No, these will, some of these will take a bit. Okay, no, we'll call this one here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you like it, please let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, uh, all those fun things if you want to support me and my growing channel. That being said, I do post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Sometimes Tuesdays and Thursdays. It just depends on what I'm feeling like that week. But that is still a lot of posting. It's two, two videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays most of the time. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you like it, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!